This is going to be the first video in a series on implementing trading bots using Alpaca and LumiBot. And I'm using Alpaca because you can set up an account in just a few seconds without putting in a bunch of personal information and because it's one of the brokers that currently works with LumiBot. So to follow along, go ahead and set up your account in Alpaca and then right, I'm on the overview page here and right, I don't have anything going on here. I just set it up with $100,000 in paper money. And then uh, what you're going to want to do is click generate the API keys so that you can actually implement the code uh, that we're going to run. All right, and all the code I'm going to make available on GitHub. So if you want, you can just download the files there and try them out on your own. The other thing you're going to need before you get started is to uh, install LumaBot. And LumaBot is a Python library that abstracts away all the logistics of placing trades, cash management, that kind of thing, and also back testing. All right, so it's just going to be a pip install LumaBot. Okay, and if you already have LumaBot, you're probably going to want to upgrade it. So. You would run upgrade LumiBot instead. I already have it, so I'm not going to bother with that. All right, so I'm ready to go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to go ahead and set up our credentials for Alpaca. So you're going to copy both the API key and the secret key. All right, I'm going to store it here in a dictionary, and then LumiBot is going to access this dictionary and use it to log into Alpaca. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started then. Uh, we're going to do a few imports here from uh, both the credentials file or the uh, configuration file and from LumaBot. All right, so I'm going to. Okay, so I'll get that configuration file. Uh, I'm going to get date time so I can run a back test. All right, and then I need to get a few classes from LumaBot. All right, so I'm going to get the back testing. I'm going to get the Alpaca API class. I'm going to get the main thing that we need, which is the strategy. That's what's going to implement all the logic. And then the trader is going to actually place the trades from us. Okay, after we import it, what we're going to do is create our own class and we're going to inherit from strategy. Okay, so this is just going to be a simple demonstration. Uh, we're just going to buy and hold uh, so we can see it working and then uh, we can run a back test on, on a strategy. All right, so strategy is the main logic that is going to implement our algorithm, whatever it may be. And probably you're going to want to look at the documentation to get an idea of how to do this. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I'll leave a link for this in the video description. All right, I just went out to lumabot.lumingwealth.com and uh, you're brought to the documentation, which is pretty good, all right? And uh, the main thing we're interested in here is this life cycle of our trading bot, all right? So we can include some or all of these methods in our trading logic, all right? At a minimum, we're going to need to define or overload the on trading iteration, all right? So uh, however frequently we want to take a look at the market, uh, that logic we're going to put in here. And at a minimum, yeah, we need this to run a trading bot, all right? Typically, uh, we will use initialize also, which is a method that will run just once as soon as I start the program. On trading iteration runs continuously until I stop the actual program, okay? But we can do something before the market opens. Maybe you want to update a model there and place trades if you need to. Uh, you can do something before you start that trading, all right? Then, uh, you know, we can trace what's going on in there, all right? We can do something before the market closes. And by default, these all have defaults, before market opens, before market closes is five minutes uh, before those events, all right? And then uh, we can override those so we can set our own before market closes or before market opens. And uh, we can also do something similar with after market closes, all right? So for this simple strategy, I'm just going to be overloading initialize and on trading iteration. All right, but most of the stuff is abstracted away for you. So all you have to do is come up with the logic of when do you want to place trades? All right, so let's go ahead and start that. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is overload that initialize. 
All right, and in here, I'm just going to basically set a global how often do I want the refresh to happen on trade iteration. All right, so it's going to be self dot sleep time. All right, and all right, I can put one day. The default is five minutes. All right, so you're probably always going to want to override this. Okay, so I'll do one day, and then uh, I'm going to define the trading logic. So that's on trading iteration. All right, and like I said, I'm just going to make a really simple strategy here. We're going to buy and hold. And so there's a there's a method inside the strategy class that checks to see if it's the first iteration through this trading loop. So I'm just going to test that if it's the first iteration. I'm going to set a symbol here and I'm just going to, I guess, buy Google. We're going to get the price so I can figure out how much Google to buy. All right, and if you had several symbols, uh, you would be able to iterate through and get the last price for all of those and then, yep, do something with it. All right, I'm going to figure out the quantity that I'm going to buy. All right, and then this it's getting from alpaca, self.cash. So however much cash I have on hand, I'm going to go ahead and do some floor division on that so I can figure out how many shares to buy. So I'm just going to invest everything uh, into uh, Google here. All right, next I'm just going to set an order. Okay, there, there are a bunch of parameters for the order and you can look at the documentation to see what else is there. All right, but I'm just going to, at a minimum, you're going to need, you know, the security, the amount to buy and then, or sell, right? And then the side you want to take either long or short. Okay, so we made the order and now we have to submit it. All right, so if I had some more complex logic in here, uh, I'd probably do something after the first iteration, but this is pretty much all I want to demonstrate uh, in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and connect to Alpaca, and then uh, let's place an order, and all right, it won't be that interesting, so uh, we'll probably just back test. Well, what would have happened if we did this maybe a year ago or something like that? All right, so I'm just going to set this up so that you can either run the back test or start placing trades based on whatever your strategy is, right? So if I set this to true, uh, then we would place trades uh, by setting it to false. I'm going to add some logic in here uh, to run that back test. Here's the logic for placing trades or making the bot active. Uh, we're going to have to go get our broker. All right, so I'm going to use that alpaca class here. All right, and I'm going to pass in the configuration file. A little more space there. All right, we're going to set up our strategy to instantiate that object. And I'm going to have to tell it who the broker is. All right, so this would work on any broker, right? But I would obviously for uh, the other broker that it works with currently is interactive brokers. Uh, so I would have to import that file and then Right, the logic for logging in there might be just a little bit different. And then we're going to create our trader and I'm going to instantiate that trader class. All right, and then I'm going to attach my strategy to the trader. All right, and then I'm just going to run it. All right, and then if I want to run the back test, here's the logic for that. And I'm going to have to set a start date and an end date. So, so we'll just go back to the beginning of 2022 here. And then uh, we'll run it for a year. Okay, then I'm going to go get the back test method of that buy hold class. Just going to pass in a couple parameters here. So I'm going to use that Yahoo back testing. And I'm going to use the start and the end. Okay, so that should be all there is to it. All right, so for this first one, we're just going to basically come up with a strategy, a very simple one, buy and hold. And uh, instead of implementing it on Alpaca, I'm going to just back test it. Okay, so for the back testing, we're going to see some high level statistics output in the terminal. Uh, we're also going to see the output from Quantstats. So they've abstracted away that back testing. Uh, they're leveraging Quantstats. All right, and they also have a uh, some built in graphing to show you your equity line. So let's go ahead and take Take a look at this. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, a little misspelling there. All right, so it's not traders, it's trader. And try one more time. It looks like the code completion helpfully fixed my date for me. 
All right, so let me uh, try one more time. Let's see what happens now. At least we got all the way down to the back test. So it's a good good sign. All right, so uh, what, what's going to happen here is uh, it is going to take a few seconds to, uh, once it gets to the back test, to actually run the back test. And then we're going to get rendered as a web page, a report from Quantstats, and also that equity line that I mentioned before, uh, in addition to the the high level stats that we can see here uh, in the terminal. All right, so we can see that this was not a good strategy, right? Down about 40% over the last year. All right, and then uh, we can compare that to, uh, okay, what would have happened if we had just buy and held S&P 500. All right, we're going to get a report for that. And then we'll also see this in, in quant stats. Here we go. All right, so there's the equity line uh, both ways. If we had used our strategy or if we had just done SPY, all right, and uh, we can see that you used all of our cash on day one and just sort of sat there. Probably not exactly zero, but pretty close. All right, and then here's the nice report you get from Quantstats. Okay, and uh, if you want to see how to do this without LumaBot, I have another video that just shows you how to implement a strategy. All right, you wouldn't be able to make it live like you can with LumaBot, all right, but you would at least be able to see, okay, how will this strategy work uh, as a back test? All right, so that should help you get started. And then in the next video, I'm going to actually implement something uh, that we run periodically throughout a day and try to look for a condition and then either buy or sell uh, based on uh, some conditions. All right, so I'll see you there.